why do we have quartiles? Quartiles help us to get a, a quick picture of a set of scores and they do that by dividing our data into four groups. Our fourth, first group is from here right through to here. Our second group runs from here through to here and our third group starts here and runs right through to there and our fourth group runs from here and goes through to there and it divides it up into four equal parts. Okay so there you have our four sets of um, or our data broken up into four smaller groups. Quarter one just marks the beginning quartile 2, the median, and quartile 3, uh, the upper quartile we call that. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of some stuff here, so I'll just do this. And now we're going to see why is this information helpful. Well, this is a set of scores, there are 19 scores here, and this was actually a maths test done for year 10. And all the results are, are here across the top, and there, there were 19 students that sat for this test, and the marks went from 20% right through to 75%. So let's have a look at what we call uh, the five-figure summary of this data. The first one is the lowest mark. Okay, so the lowest value equals 20%. Uh, the, the first quartile was equal to 35%. The second quartile, or the median, is equal to 52%. And the upper quartile is equal to 69%. Uh, the, the highest mark, or the upper value, or actually we'll call it the highest value equals 75 percent. Now let's take those values and put them on this line that shows all the possible scores from 0 to 100. And so we put 20 percent at there, that's our lowest mark, so we're just going to put a dot there. And our next one's 35%, so we'll put a dot there. Next one 52, so that's about there. And our next one 69, so that's there. And our biggest one is 75, so that's there. Now all this information here is helps us to draw a picture that is, uh, is quite helpful when we're looking at uh, results. So we take the median and we just draw a straight line. We draw a straight line through the lower quartile and also through the upper quartile. And we form that into a box. Okay. Now this box shows us where the middle group of students marks were. So their marks went from 35 up to 69. That's the middle group of students. Now the, this one here, the upper mark, 75, is what we call the whisker of this box plot. And that shows us that, okay, well the difference between the upper quartile and the highest mark is not huge. Okay, it's only a matter of about well, the difference is between 69 and 75, so it's only six marks. And then we have our lowest mark, and that's the other end of the whisker. This is why we call this a box and whisker plot. Our lowest mark is 20. So when you look at this data, you can see that roughly this line does divide this quarter and this quarter into pretty equal parts. But there is a, a long tail here and a very short tail up here. So what can we say about that? Well we can say that 
this bottom these bottom group of marks there was quite a spread going from quite low up to about 35 so it's showing that there's quite a long tail whereas in this upper bit here there's not a great deal of difference between this upper quartile or the upper quartile group and the highest mark 75 not a great deal of difference between these ones here and these ones here so this is useful but say we had another class that sat the same test and we found out that their lowest value and I'll just call that LV was equal to I don't know let's say it was equal to 40 percent and they sat the same test and their quartile one was equal to uh, 48 percent and their quartile two was equal to 65 percent quartile three equal to 75 percent and the highest value HV was equal to say 80 percent how would that look well let's just draw that underneath here and and see if we can actually see if it produces a different picture it will of course but let's have a look at how different so the lowest value was here quartile one was at 48 so that's about say there quartile two was at 65 so that's there or the median and quartile three was at 75 so that's there and our highest value was at 80 percent so that's there so when we draw this box plot up same set of marks same test that they sat and which group performed better well this group looks as though it did perform better it has a much tighter spread the numbers only go from 40 to 80 80 percent so the range the, the whole range is only 40 marks where the range on this one was from 75 down to 20 so that's a range of 55 so this group of students are, are much closer together